All right. Um. Hey, everybody. It's Danny Fish. Um. Okay. I'm not sure what that. Not sorry. Um. Uh. Hold on a moment. Um. Sorry. Okay. It's just sort of. I don't think the recording's affected or anything really. I don't know, just freaking out a bit, but in slightly Kirby related commentary, or not slightly Kirby related commentary, I saw the previews for the new Kirby game, Kirby's Return to Dreamland, and honestly, I quite like that, especially, I don't know, I was one of the many people that was disappointed by Epic Yarn, but I don't know. It just, it wasn't. It's all right. Like, it certainly wasn't really terrible or anything, but I didn't think it was as good as it could have been. Really, I don't know. Just soaring over a level here. Fire Kirby. Oh, looks like doors down here, or end of level, or whatever it is. It looks like a door. Uh, down into this hole. Ah, alright, that's a bit cheeky of them not to put a floor under the door. Oh, it's a secret area, okay. And I guess the real end level is still over here somewhere, or something. Yeah, yeah, that's something that looked more like something that would be a bit more end of level y. But at least I found some sort of cool secret, so. Uh, this isn't a completely useless run. I, I guess it wouldn't be entirely useless anyway, but I'm being way too liberal with my lives here. Wow, well, uh, I don't know. And we're rather liberal with the crash as well. Ah. There we go. Whoop, star. But anyway, like I said, our, um, Kirby Return to Dreamland looks really cool. So, oh yeah, laser, like my buddy Laser Cat. I oh, don't want to lose this one. But that game does look pretty excellent. I don't know, I like the 3D graphics. It was like a refined Kirby 64 sort of thing, which was what I was hoping from Epic Yarn. And this also clears up some like trailers I saw years ago for um, for Kirby Return to Dreamland that I assumed was what Epic Yarn was going to look like, but then it wasn't, so I was largely disappointed. Uh, I couldn't hit that ball. Oh. Give me back my lasers. Ah, whatever. I'm not sure why my recording is flipping out like this so badly. No, no, at least I got a link sword. Oh yeah, well Curry's Return to Dreamland sort of changed the design of the sword transformation. So I nah I don't like it quite as much because it's not a funny Zelda reference, and despite not let's playing a full Zelda game to date yet. Zelda is probably my favorite Nintendo series, closely followed by probably like Mario and Donkey Kong. Or well, not like Mario versus Donkey Kong, but Mario is another favorite, and Donkey Kong and Pokemon. I don't know. This, I love when I'm playing a Kirby game. I'm gonna go on about liking one Kirby game, but then actually, I don't really like Kirby as a series a whole lot. I don't know. Just a bit of a thing with me. I mean, it's certainly, it's by no means bad or anything, it's a certain, I don't know, it's just not really one of my favorites. Uh, this is, looks like an area designed for a wheelie. Oh, whoops, I lost it. That's what's happening. Oh, how funny. Huh. Yeah, that bomb noise sounds like it's a weird glitch up in my audio, even though I know it's not a weird glitch up in my audio right now. Oh, but it sealed off that bonus door. Oh, it looked like just a one-up door. So, it's probably okay that I missed it. Uh, uh, mini boss time. Oh, yeah, it's a fan fan. Or a fampy. Specking of fampies, I noticed Captain Sparkles was doing a Pokemon Heart Gold Let's Play, which is kind of cool. Because I'm gonna do Soul Silver sometime. Well, I don't know. My laptop, I'm actually probably not gonna get it until the winter or something. Or, well, I'm gonna get it like around Christmassy time. So, Merry Homes for Christmas. You'll get some joyous um, Pokemon 
game let's plays for your Christmases. I don't know, I'll be like, I can tie up loose end projects like Ocarina of Time, Portal, um, Platinum and White and start up Soul Silver once I get that. But, and then I can just finish PVZ, um, I can just finish PVZ and Earthbound and Pokemon Leaf Green and this game and this um, Metroid and Mario 3 and Metroid Zero Mission and Kirby Superstar and Mario 1 and then I'll probably be okay with myself. There we go, maximum tomato. I'm not totally bad at Kirby. Oh, well, I haven't died that many times really, I just keep saying I'm really bad at Kirby just because I'm not getting all the wacky secrets. Uh, not getting wacky secrets, what a video games are you? Fighting a Meta Knight boss is what I am, apparently. Yeah, this, I always like doing these without power-ups, but I guess that has its advantages. Because, I mean, all you have to do now is just suck them up. Ah. Oh, ah, ah. I also, I also feel like my commentary is bad if I don't, if I'm not talking all the exact time. There we go. So, but I realize sometimes when you just do on-the-spot commentary and not constantly editing and post commentary and stuff that, and like watching old stream footage and things that you can't always be talking. Uh, you can't always be talking constantly. Cause it's also sort of trying on your voice. I remember when I first started Let's Playing, got like a sore throat or something, and my mom was just like, uh, what is even a wrong with you? And I'm like, whoops, uh, started Let's Playing, Ma. I don't know, uh, okay, I can't really continue that way without getting shocked, so. Shocking. Now I'm just like super paranoid, cause I only have one health. Oh, delicious, it was a one-up. Uh, it was a one-up this whole time, I don't even get my sweet, sweet exit pipe. Well, no, I have to go down here for this. Oh, yay. Oh my god, I can't believe I navigated that without dying. That was an amazing feat of the purest skill at a Kirby's. Alright, um, this is flipping out a lot, so I think I'm probably just going to start up a new recording. Um, uh, yeah, I'll do another part some other times. Is the, um, yeah, so I guess, um, like this video, subscribe, er, yeah, like, subscribe, tweet or my Twitter, and I'll see you guys later.